Chad Holmgren is missing his entire rookie year. Shamsharania and both Adrian Wojnarowski announced that Chet Holmgren will miss the entire year due to a Liz Frank injury to his right foot. He suffered the injury in a pro am game when LeBron went up for that layup. Man, oh man. All right. That is so sad. Holy crap. So he just got Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid all in one. Hey, Spurs fan, guess it's gonna Spurs fans, Thunders fans, Pacers fans. Guess what? You guys are all going to be, and Rockets maybe, are all going to be fighting the hell out of each other for Victor Wembenyama, you know, and and I think, you know, I think it's funny because it, it's not funny, but it sucks. Uh, hopefully he comes back better. Maybe Thunder now get Wembenyama easier. I just think Damn, a Liz Frank injury. A Liz Frank injury. Let's talk about what a Liz Frank injury is. And it's just, it isn't fun, okay? And you guys saw my video yesterday when I was talking about this. I, I didn't want this to happen to him. And it just sucks, okay? You don't want to see anybody get hurt. You never want to see anyone get hurt. And now we're seeing that Chet Holmgren will miss, you know, the entire rookie year. I wish we could say better things, but maybe he just puts on some weight this coming season. He comes in heavier, but we already know people are going to say he's a bust already. And I said that the, you know, his frame or he got me scared that he'll have a career problem with foot injuries or knee problems. And guess what happens in just a pro-am game? He suffers a Liz Frank injury. And that sucks. You, you hope that happens to nobody. And guess what happens right there? It happens to Chet Holmgren. Something that we were hoping would not happen at all has happened. For me, this will allow Jay Williams, Jay Will, Jeremy Robinson Earl, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, not Jeremy, Jeremiah Robinson Earl, Darius Baisley, Kenrick Williams, a bunch of other guys to continue to develop and not have to fight for, you know, roster spaces. But it does, it does make things more difficult. And I feel like it sucks. This isn't what anybody wanted to happen. And that's the worst part is that nobody here wanted this or expected any of this to happen. And you just sit here and it's it's quite upsetting knowing that this might really just, it was just shit luck, okay? No one could have foreseen this happening. And for me, I just think that's the most depressing part about all of it is that no one saw that coming. Right, no one's going to sit here and be like, oh, I saw, I knew Chet was going to get hurt. It was just a freak injury that no one expected would have occurred but it did occur and that's the worst part about it now i want to hear your guys thoughts down below what do you guys think of this situation and why but i don't even think there's much else to talk about that now he's just going to be like joel Embiid, ben simmons just missed his first season and hopefully they get victor Wembanyama out of this because they're gonna suck but hey at least your young guys will get a bunch of talent it's just crazy. We had a multiple news this morning. It was a very action-packed news cycle. But I hope you guys do have a great day. Bye, Bruce. Home.